Um, good afternoon, everyone. I want to first thank you again for tuning in to Z's channel and um, all the great encouraging comments that I've been receiving. I thought that it would be important now that I talk a little bit to you. So, it was um, a very rainy day today, but the sun is out. And what I want to discuss with you is how I got to this point. Now, I've said something I may hit on in previous broadcasts, but I'm going to try to talk kind of fast for time, uh, just for time to make sure I, you, know, you give you so much limited time. So, on April the 29th, around 10.30 p.m., I was awakened out of my sleep. I thought I smelled smoke or like gas. And then the room started spinning. I've never been sick in my life. When the room started spinning, I said these words. I said, God, you can't let this happen to me. I can't die here. I said, it's not a biblical principle. I don't have an inheritance for my children's children in place. And then I scooted to the wall and immediately the Holy Spirit uh, had me, my hands on my head and I commanded the bleeding to stop in my head. Around 9.30 a.m. in the morning is when they broke in the door to get me. And even then, because I trust God, I said, no ambulance, no 911. I said, I want you to listen to me. I gave instructions. See, when you have faith in God and you believe in God, there's no fear. Death was covered up with resurrection. So death or the grave has not the victory. Now, what I want to share with you today is faith. And I want to talk to you about having faith in God Almighty. It is possible and he does honor his word. So what I did was, I had, uh, first I have to say thank you to the rehab facilities, the doctors and see people that believed enough in me to help me, to assist me come back to my recovery. It was amazing. So, you know what happens is, you get a lot of people, since I've come out of this with the stroke, have different remedies, and they have different outcomes for me. Like about, they say healing. God's gonna heal you with this. God's gonna heal you with that. Guess what, y'all? None of the stuff that they said was true because I was taught as a young man by my father, Henry Henley. He told me that you don't want to pray for healing. You want wholeness. See, so God is making me whole. Body, soul, and spirit. That's what's most important. So what you need to do by having a stroke is you just take more time if you can concentrate on more time, you know, being, if you have a task that you're trying to complete, take more time. Don't rush, and you'll be able to deliver. Listen, God is too loving to be unkind and too wise to ever make a mistake. Your worst is over, and your best is yet to come. Listen, don't believe what the people say. Believe what God says. I'm not knocking science or medical fields at all. They help me, y'all. Post-stroke, what I take is sarsaparilla, hydrangea root, yellow dock, burdock root, and elderberry. Again, there's sarsaparilla, hydrangea root, burdock root, yellow dot and the other berry. I mix these five herbs up and that's my tea. 
I also take turmeric and I have garlic, red onions, a lime squeeze, turmeric, a little bit of, of olive oil and water, and I make that as a tea to, in, in, to get that in my system. Now, you do what your physicians say, but I don't want you to ever think that I'm trying to tell you different things about no medical things. No, I encourage you to stick with your physicians. I encourage you to go through your rehabs, but I also encourage you to get in touch with your mind. If you can control your mind, you control your body. Listen, the last thing that my doctor said to me is welcome to your new life. Now, what that means to me is I had to depend on God to not let me die. I was all by myself. So most people, when they have a tragedy or trauma, they blame God. It was God that kept me. So all those people that don't believe in God and they got their own philosophy, I don't knock them, but guess what? I'm not sitting across the table from them. And I don't have a problem with that. So, you know, just like I lost to the left side, I lost a lot of relationships. And we move on. God is good and all is well. Peace.